Hi, I'm Rick again. And I'm Dave. And we're looking at 1964 to 1967. Ah, we start out in the front yard as usual. This is a house and a new garage under construction. Well, just about finished, but doesn't have the... Enlarging the family room. Oh, yes. But no shingles yet and no paint. And a new house has sprung up next door in the yes. vacant lot. Here we are, Easter Sunday, 64. This is the McDonald clan, I guess you could say. And there's, there's Tim on the right, inventing air guitar. That is the moment air guitar was invented by my cousin, Timothy. And there I am, immediately taking up the new fad. America had just recently been taken over by the Beatles. <laughs> this is where our Auntie Vi is organizing. She's trying to get the families. What, who, who belongs to who? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't belong here. You, be <laughs> you belong over there. You, yeah. you keep her. No. <laughs> and there you are again. Now I'm Ringo. And there goes Auntie Ro, in a hurry, and Nan, our Nana. Yeah. And there's that kid again. Yeah. And our little sister. What an adorable kid. <laughs> our grandmother there is 63, and our grandfather is 64. They're holding hands. No. Really? They are, yeah. Unbelievable. Our Uncle Judd, Jim, Auntie Vi, Auntie Maggie, Auntie Ro, and her legs. Of course, my father has a camera. <laughs> and mother. Mother and Nan, Nan and, and pa. pa. And now the grandchildren enter. That's Beth Ann and Tracy Jim. and Sally. Mm -hmm. And then Jeff was being put. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enough of the year. And here we are at Easter it's also. That's the tempest that we wore out going to California. Right. In. It probably is Easter. Well, they always got out the camera on yeah. Easter. Now we are at Graham's. Graham's, yes. On the lake. It's Sunday. You're in a tie. Uh -huh. I'm in shorts. I don't know. You're a heretic. You, you must have liked the tie. Oh, sure. That's Mesa Day Lake. May, yep. And that is a Waterford yacht, also known as a pontoon boat. Uh, yes. <laughs> Mothers, come on. Drop the camera. Let's get going. That's Jerry Graham. Right. With the cool glasses. You'll see her in costume later on in the Oh, movie. really? Yes, you'll see her. And that's the mom. Blanche. Blanche. Blanche Graham. And uh, we weren't allowed, because it was Sunday, we weren't allowed to take the pontoon on the water, but we could stand on the pontoon. As long as no one saw us. Yes. Yeah. And I'm real happy there, I notice. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was, I guess, because I didn't get to wear a tie. I, yeah, you were probably so upset. Yeah. And that's the Lake Mesa Day Lake. Mesa Day Lake. And here's their their, their youngest. Boy. Yeah, I don't know his name. Gil. Was it Gil or was that his father's name? I don't know. I don't know. And, and you <laughs> and Jerry. <laughs> yeah, to jumping up, and then I I slip into some monster move. There you here. go. See? See right here. You there's the pose. Oh. There's the there's the bite <laughs> bite of the tongue. You must have been planning something. I yeah, I was up to something. You were you can always tell something is going to happen. And there's the church. I think that's me. Hmm. I'm not sure who the other person was that knows the steeple. He showed up because a steeple was added. Yep, and you're wearing a tie too. And I'm wearing a tie, and the oh. glass doors were up. Yeah, and the whole big addition is on there. Yeah. 
And the windows were open, demonstrating no AC. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, here we are at East Towers. East Towers. Uh, that's me, right? Yep. And that's Janet Carr and me on the point at East Towers, Michigan. A beautiful, wide beach that is not so wide at all anymore. That's Dolores Carr. That's Dolores Carr, clowning around. Yeah. Causing you a little grief there. <laughs> she was lots of fun. She, you wouldn't oh, expect she, it. Yeah. yeah. It's Janet. Janet. There's you on the left. And Carol. And Carol. And I'm... And, and Patty. Patty. And I'm trying to climb up. And Janet. And Beth Ann. And then... And now you're on the right. Yes. Well, you're in here twice. I am. Note the bathing suit, because you'll see that again, it, but it it's won't... It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, it was and they, a surfer. Every, every year, the, the, we'd go up to Taos, and there'd be all this stuff that had happened over the rough winter uh, weather. Trees falling down. Yeah. And we never saw that happen. It was just there to play on, and... When we, we showed up, we, in the we pull into summer. the we pull into the cottage, and mother and dad would go to the cottage, and we three would head the other direction, right to the beach. Oh yeah, <laughs> right to the water to see what, how was it different. Yeah, because it was always different. always different. Back at the cottage, the front yard. I watched my fan. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> She hits the spatula. Hit the spatula. Uh -oh. And of course, immediately taken in and washed. Oh, yeah. Here. It's now being washed. Let me just shake it. Yeah. Yep. There. Now it's good. That's our father. And we survived. Yeah. That's our father, the chef. Yeah. Now back to Beth Ann. Apparently, char broiling that beach ball didn't hurt it. <laughs> And oh, we've got that's this is cute. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> and there we are at the, the water. same pose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got the same, <laughs> the pose. same pose. Yes, <laughs> there. Yep, I don't remember our dock. It must have been farther I, down the beach. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of the rare times that we all went as a family. Usually, dad was on either the golf course or sitting in a boat fishing. Yeah. I think mom wanted to get it on film just to prove that yeah. we were a complete family. I would often go alone up, up there. I just loved that. I'm not exactly sure what our father is. I guess he's... He's found something to play with. Play with, exactly. <laughs> something falling over. Anything better than the three kids. Uh, let's play with that. Well, we're having fun with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't often see this hilarity. That's you me, and me. Yeah. With the same loping walk. No, not really, but. <laughs> yeah. We know his. It must be quite a ways up the beach because there's no homes at all. Here we are in Warren at our Auntie Warren Uncle Chet's house. Ah. And. That's cousin Tim and myself. Cousin Jim. Jim. And, Jim. and you. We, and... we know girls don't have cooties, but we're not too sure. Yeah, and this one is quite stunning. This yes. one's got the hair and the She's everything. She's the blonde from Arizona. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, my, and, and here we are, 13 and 14-year-old boys, not he, exactly sure. <laughs> he's ragging you to do something. <laughs> and... She, I don't know if she's having any of this or not. This yeah. is her brother? No, that's Doug. That's, that's Doug? That's Doug. Oh. oh. Yeah. She grew up to be a lawyer in Southern California. Oh, Tracy and Beth Ann were taking turns here now. See there. And mm -hmm. Of course, the, the boys take off and Heather... <laughs> He's going to go talk to some adults. Yeah, exactly. Jeez. <laughs> All right, Christmas, 1964. We're in the family room. It's been added to now. It's finished. Yeah, there's a closet there and the a door closet. to the garage. Right. Lady in our church had painted that for Mother. 
Goldie Banta. And I've got a tape recorder beginning my um, interest in such things. And I'm working on a model car, I guess, on a coffee table that I still own today. That that card table. That card you, table. You yeah. have that today. Yeah, yeah, that card table. And it looks like I'm about to steal the batteries out of the family flashlight in order to make rock and roll history, no doubt, with that tape recorder. And our sister. Yeah. Yet another stroller. Yeah. Huh. And she got a kitchen she set. She always had a good haul. Notice the half pew sample in the background there. Oh. When our father was selling pews. And yeah. The cat nope. was uh, fluffy. Mm-hmm. Not just literally, named Fluffy. And this is some thing. What's that that Mother has? It's a doll Beth Ann got. Oh. Probably a Madame Alexander doll. Mm. This is the year she also got the Chatty Kathy. She got two dolls. Mother's knitting. And, right. And I'm over here. Right. She's playing like an old lady. Notice that the, the she, living room lamps have now migrated to the yeah. dining, to the family room. Now I'm I'm knitting or pretending to, right? I think. And this is Beth Ann's little uniform for Campfire Girls. No, Pioneer Girls. Pioneer Girls. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Notice this later. You'll see in the next year we actually get. End tables for the lamp. Oh, I wore that, that hat all through school. That white beanie cap. This, I don't know how this footage looks like this. This film, there's nothing on this film. I looked at it right up close. It just got messed up somehow as if, well, it looks like it's being shot through a curtain. I don't see how it I could have been. Yeah, I, no, I did Direction. But it is what it is. It's as good hmm. as it can be. Our cousin Paul yeah, and we, you. Our cousin Mark and Beth, our sister Beth Ann. Yeah, it's in our dining room. That's important. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know. And now we have... More and I'm sitting in the crazy, rocker. More right. crazy images of yeah. It's who knows what. You're holding something. Uh, it looks like a camera, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Could be. I thought that or a walkie-talkie. Yeah, and this. He's outside. I couldn't front. decide if this was Bethann's friend Laura or No, that's Jane, Jane Scott. Jane Scott. The house is now crooked. Uh, yeah. Big sinkhole. Well, that was yeah, big, that big was the problem that year. Mm -hmm. That's That's Jane, Jane. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Still have the Pontiac, yes. the 64 Tempest, and there's the Model A. Ah, yes, the Model A. Now we go to the back, also in this same reel with the... Well, glad that's over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's clear. Wow, Vacation wow. 65. And where's this? It oh. really doesn't matter because we weren't on the road very long. Yeah, not very long. No. Well, actually, we're not getting to vacation yet. This is a parade. That's me. And I've got the my bike all decked out for this parade that we're going to have at the church. And we're going to go out into neighborhoods and uh, cajole people to come to services, I guess. No, right? Vacation Bible school. Okay. I built that bike on a cast-off Schwinn frame I found. That's how I got a Stingray bike before everyone else. Is 
There we yeah. are behind the church. So here we are uh, assembling for the for the parade. Right. I'm in the background, too old for the parade, so I'll just. Are, aren't you on the skateboard? I'm on the skateboard. All right. Am I looking at a horse there? Yes. It's a horse. Yes. I'm not sure who's that was, who that belonged to. But they wisely put it last. <laughs> and that's me. Is that Mike Younger in front of you? You know, I think it is. I think so. That's Nan. And now we're the last week of July because we're at East Tawas. Now it's vacation. Yes. Nan. And we're going to be seeing, that could be our cousin Ruth. I think that is our cousin Ruth. Mm. She went up that year with us. To is that right? Yes. Oh. And we saw Mother stole us away to watch Mary Poppins, the theater, ah. on the theater. That's me. Yep. Catching some rays. And on the very first reel, 10 years before, nine years before, that towel was also in there. That's that's our cousin Ruth. Hmm. Yeah. I still have that towel. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> what is the matter with us? We just, I, don't, I don't. Here you are rebuilding the engine. Remember when you pulled? Oh, yes. Yeah, and sure. you were you were. I think this is when we the plugs. painted the car with mm, spray cans. Yes. Because of the radiators masked up with no the door up, <laughs> and then when the door came down, we realized, oh. We we laughed at people who would paint a car with a roller. <laughs> we did it with spray cans. Yeah. A case of spray cans. Oh boy. <laughs> now yeah. this is a bicycle build for two that I'm checking out. Yeah. In uh, this is at Seago or Silver Lake or someplace. Silver Lake on uh, the western side of Michigan. We're there with the borrowed trailer. Ah, yes. Whose trailer was that? That was Dave Cummins' trailer. They had also taken it to California the year before when we went. Oh, the Cumminses. Had. The Cummins, yes, yes. And it was a foot longer. It was a foot longer. It was deluxe, 14 feet. Oh, that meant we could all take another pair of shoes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you and Beth Ann. I've got the bike. There you are, showing off. Oh. Yep, showing off, yeah. riding with the... the yeah. <laughs> There's our, Mother protecting the hair, as um, always. Yes. And the, the dunes. The dunes at, at Silver, Silver Lake. Lake. Or Hart. Hart is the name of the town. Silver Lake. Yeah. That's up uh, north of Grand Rapids. North, yeah, north of Muskegon, northwest. Are these dunes uh, between Silver Lake and Lake Michigan? Is that right? There's a part of the dunes that separate Silver oh. Lake and Lake Michigan. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, you climb up to the top and then you run down and jump. and it's, That's what you do. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do. You, you jump into the parking lot on this side. The other side, you there's no parking lot there. You get we'll sand. We'll see that later. You get sand in everything. Wang, Auntie May, Uncle George, the Wangler's first camper. So I'm thinking this might be uh, Metamora. Because here we are in a different campsite. Mm-hmm. Or Otsego. Could be. We camp both places with them. So there's the lake. Can does that help you identify it? Oh yeah, that one is. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> At Seago had had a camp store with soft ice cream, and so that that's big with me. Those boats were uh, Michigan rental boats. They were like dark green, I think. They just looked dark. Do you remember those? No, and I, I, cousin Jim isn't in this. He's over getting a soft ice cream. There he, there he. <laughs> There's Tim.
Yeah, I remember those boats being rentals of some kind and being officially st- like state boats. <laughs> right. How many times did we rent them? Never. Never. No. No, we don't rent. <laughs> we don't buy. I believe that's Cousin Jim in the water. We watch other people. There goes rent. Uncle George out there. It looks like, oh, it's deep. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Always safe to swim in two feet of water. Yeah, it was a lot of fun when it was like that. Yeah, long uh, way out. Places to romp. The first day of school, I'm on my way to 10th grade, first day at high school. White pants, madras shirt, right in vogue. Fantastic. Yes. You're off to Waterford Township High School. High school. We're going to walk. Mm. 10th grade. And here am I in the same outfit, pretty much, <laughs> headed off to my first day in the 7th grade, a year of great awakening when there was uh, six teachers. <laughs> I was expecting only one. I was so confused. That's Jane Scott on the left, Joni Higginbotham, our sister Beth Ann, and Laura Higginbotham. And they're on their way for the first day at Della Lutz Elementary. Fourth grade, Beth Ann was in. I think yeah. Joni was a little younger. If you notice, as they get to the street, they seem to be going the wrong direction. Yeah, the school is to they're the left. They're skipping the first day of school. <laughs> Already. Already. The, yeah, well, there they go. The, those girls are right. Yeah. But they're going down to pick up their friend, Nancy Shafto. Yeah. Down the street. And eventually they will turn around and... Joni's not too sure. Yeah. She's not too sure if this is the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. 58 Chevy and Bernita's car. Ah. Uh-huh. And we had it as an interim car. I wasn't ever sure quite why after the Tempest was gone. And here we are in the backyard for some reason. And our father is clowning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's him. (laughs) That's her father with the bucket on his head. The lampshade. Yeah, well, it's, I think it's a bucket. Is it a bucket? I don't know. Maybe it is. It should be a lampshade. The joke is. It is a bucket. It's a bucket. It's a bucket. (laughs) I, yeah. Underneath the old oak tree. Right. Oh, you were climbing that tree at that point. I don't know. Oh, the dog Jocko. Jocko. Oh, but first, but, Beth Ann's birthday. And they're the same three girls yeah. that were on her first day to school a month before this. This would be October 27th. Yes. Yeah, everybody wave. <laughs> she looked like mother there. But yeah, then, yeah. She really... <laughs> Here we are. Celebrating a, Halloween at the church. A Halloween party, party. thing. And uh, you'll see that there's Jerry in a minute here. Oh, really? Yeah. Jerry Graham we saw earlier. Because I don't recognize any of these people. Well, yeah. yeah. They're all dressed up for some reason. Yeah. Debbie Nelson, the blonde oh, with the... Oh, that's who that is. And there's Jerry right there at the black with the, as a gypsy. Uh, that's Jerry Graham. Okay. The others... Never looked better. (laughs) Our grandmother, I can hear. At this point, the movie has sound. Yeah. Because (laughs) I can can hear it. You can hear her. Happy birthday, Beth Ann. Remember, her birthday was always combined with Halloween. Yeah, so close to Halloween. I have no, this is the older group of which we were in. I have no idea who any of these people are. No. Our sister. There's our sister. That is Laura Higginbotham. Doesn't that look like our cousin Sally? Yeah, kind of. I I wondered about that. You know, Nan's there, so yeah, it could 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 happen. Could have been. And this I is where know. we have sound. <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah. Our grandmother when she laughs. is enjoying it. There, can't you hear it? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yes, there it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there it is. She is <laughs> pulling a trick on Beth Ann with the candles <laughs> and having a good time. Yeah. Laura Higginbotham there. Mm -hmm. And now we're at Christmas. Mother had decided we needed a dog. Not a good dog either, but a high-strung, needy... Was it mother who picked the dog? <laughs> toy poodle kind Not of mix. Notice the next year that we have the lamps, but now we have tables our father made. And there is the dog. That was me, by the way. But there is the dog with you. Yes. So now, guess who gets the screen time? Mm -hmm. That is the linoleum floor. It is. Mm -hmm. There we are with our Robo cousins. Yep, that's Ruth. Paul standing up in the back, and Mark in the back to the right of his father, Uncle Harry, and Joel on Uncle Harry's lap, and Ruth in the front. And Ruth. You're not very happy there. Oh, I'm zoned out for some reason. Yeah. Probably lost in thought as usual. Our Uncle Harry, our father's twin. Yes, and Aunt Georgette. Aunt Georgette holding our youngest cousin there in that family, Joel. There's the family library up there. Mm hmm. Yes. Such as it is. And the dog. The dog. <laughs> Christmas morning. I, I'm assuming we're not up yet, obviously. The dog is just deciding which present he... Okay, yeah. Boy, if I tried that, I'd get in trouble. Yeah, well. More Christmas at 65. Yes, another fabulous haul. I tell you. My goodness. I guess that was green bows that year. And here we are at our aunt and uncle's in Gross Point, our Auntie Vi's home. There she is, clowning around. And this is the debut. Yes. Of Jenny and Jamie. Jamie right there, by, held by Auntie Maggie. And Jenny by Nan. Our Auntie Ro and Uncle Chet have given little cousin Jeff two presents. <laughs> <laughs> and mother's making noises on the <laughs> on the leg and causing hilarity with the youngster. Now we're back at Christmas night. We're back home. Ah. And Beth Ann wants to try on her ballerina. Yes, the ballerina suit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After she's done being a ballerina, she can be a housewife. There's her ironing board and iron and bassinet behind her. Yeah. She can have it all. Yes. What do you think she's saying? I don't <laughs> I don't know. I'm not much of a lip reader. Yeah. She's yakking away. She I is. Think she's explaining it. Maybe. I don't remember ever seeing that again. Well, you know, I think a lot of the things that we wanted as kids never saw much use once we got them. Adults, they took that to mean we were spoiled. But I think we were then just as kids are now in our culture. 
overwhelmed. Donna Branch and uh, Susan Harrell, Peggy Harrell, Bob Taylor, Art um, Kilmer, Youth Banquet at Church. This was the uh, installation banquet for the youth group. Randy Reith, Linda Sangster, Linda Berry. And Dave Galloway. Dave Galloway, Barbara King. Donna Branch, only girl I knew that drove to high school in a 57 Cadillac. Ooh, her my. very own. I think that's Billy Walker. He's going to be the speaker. And then uh, Bill and Phyllis Putty, the youth sponsors. Uh -huh. And Ruth Jackson, the assistant. And uh -huh. Mother's talking with one of the guys from the quartet that was going to be our entertainment that night. Oh, uh, the bow ties. Skip, yep, Skip Tork. Yeah. And uh, Gary Pullins there. Yeah. So this is a young people's banquet held at the church. At January, installation of the new officers to the youth group. Ah. Uh. So we're in the uh, Fellowship Hall. Uh, yeah. And this is the Cook's Parade. You always had to have a Cook's Parade. Is that right? Yes. That was a, a Mrs. Evans. And who was out? Who was the one on the left? Laidler. Mrs. Mrs. Laidler and Mrs. Maybell Evans. Yeah. And that Dave Galloway, mm -hmm. Barbara King, Nancy Ross, and you. And me with a stylish brush cut there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, my hair was so unmanageable. You didn't just... want to be any beetle. Right. Well, I didn't have a choice. I just... <laughs> we'll cut his hair short because it can't be controlled. Memorial Day. At Marshbank Park. Yes. In West Bloomfield, Michigan. The end of May and we're dressed like it's uh, the first of November. <laughs> yeah. It's on Cass Lake. But you can't swim in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even get near it. Not from this park. They yeah. have it fenced off. Yeah. And that's you setting that's up me. the right the badminton. Star like. I think I'm starting to let my hair grow long there. Or, or they're letting me start to let my hair grow long. Oh, my. Cousin Jim. Okay, we're still at the park. There's mm -hmm. the fence that separates you from the lake, and we're playing some kind of volleyball. That's me back there. Badminton. Doug. You have a racket? No. Some yep. kind of. Yeah, something. some kind of racket. That's Douglas. Cousin Tim. Yep. That's Diane behind Mother. Mother seems to be cold. Every, and Diane's wearing a sweater. <laughs> yeah, and holding a baby. <laughs> holding a baby. I think That's she's got Janny. Janny or Jamie? I think Auntie Maggie has Jamie, I think, back there in the rocker. And, and Auntie Rose has had enough. <laughs> yeah, she's she's thrilled. She <laughs> loves those get-together. Give those kids yeah. <laughs> two yeah. at once. Oh, my. <laughs> but she's... Uh, it's time to warm the bottles. Our cousin Jeff and sister. Yeah. Watch this expression for a brief second after Jeff does something and she, watch it. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> yes. Ugh. My yeah. team with Uncle Jug and Tim. There's Jeff through the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Uncle Chet in Uncle, the striped sweater. Yep, Uncle Chet. And Jim, Cousin Jim, and Cousin Doug, and you with a hat. Yeah. Our Cousin Jamie. <laughs> Jim. No, okay. And Janny. Yeah. Cute. We're getting ready to get on the boat that will take us and Wanglers to Mackinac Island. Mackinac Island? 
right between the upper peninsula and the lower peninsula, or the UP. And the name of that bridge is? The Mackinac Bridge. It's long. Wow. There's our Auntie Maggie and Mom on the boat, and Doug and Uncle George sitting in front of them. On the way. On the way. A freighter, probably carrying iron ore from the Upper Peninsula. Uh huh. And there's the island, the Grand Hotel. The movie Somewhere in Time with Christopher Reeve was shot there. Oh. What do you know about Mackinac Island? Well, it's interesting. 82% of it is a Michigan State Park. Oh. And the city controls 18% of it. Mackinac Island City. Oh. Yeah. 500 people. 500 permanent residents. Mm -hmm. There's the, the Grand Hotel. And it's the job of those 500 people to make the fudge, I, I guess. Yes. it's a, it, Yeah. And they're very large people. I bet. They're very large. I bet. This looks like it continues. It, there oh. we are, Mackinac. We won't see any motorized vehicles. In town. Only two types of public motorized vehicles allowed on the island. Snowmobiles and golf carts. Huh. Oh. There is some fudge. Yeah. <laughs> and some kind of a... As an uh, early missionary bark chapel, I think. I think so. Yeah. And the fort, which is on Mackinac Island, St. Joseph was built by the British when they owned the island. Uh huh. Now, this I'm not sure. 1180. I think it means 1780. I think it's I think broken. so too. Or either that or it's the address. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly, yes. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. 1784, Mackinac. Yes, the panorama There's view. There's the ferry, I guess, that, or one of them, that brings tourists to and from. It's the only way to get to the island. Yeah, here we are coming out of probably one of the buildings at the fort. Cousin Jim and myself. There's Uncle George right there. Yeah, seeing some exhibit. It, yep. Here we are. Riding the bikes. Riding the bikes. Around the island, which is what you do. That's Tim. That's me. Mm-hmm. Doug and Dad, Cousin Jim and myself. <laughs> then Uncle George and Auntie Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> that's a toothpaste commercial yeah, right oh, there. That's, yeah, very good. And that's me coming, coming back. up again. <laughs> Here we are walking in town, mm -hmm. all of us together. One of the homes of the 500 residents, I suppose. Yeah, one of the fudge makers. Yes. Of course, what else does a preacher zoom on to? The um, church. Yeah, the church. Huh. Yeah, it's very quaint. Yes. It really bloomed in the late 1800s. Oh. Is when it really became a tourist resort. Who was that standing behind Uncle George? Is that Jim? I, I don't know. There's you mowing the grass at the church. Yes. 
obviously not being paid. Four dollars. You're getting four dollars for that. I did? Yeah. Well, I obviously wanted more than that because I wasn't <laughs> happy. Oh, that was a big job. I uh, wasn't even. But you got to sit down. I got, yeah. <laughs> Silver Lake, I think, isn't it? There we are. And this yes. is the Phoenix trailer. This is our yep. own trailer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could have been the maiden voyage. Yeah, there's a theme with this that our father liked to take movies of our little residences out. Would take our trailer and move it somewhere to a different place, then take a movie of it. Move it to another place, take another movie of it. Like, this is where we stayed. It's the same movie. It was the same image. <laughs> <laughs> the trees are different. The lot number is different. So here we are back at Silver Lake. And there he is walking with that uh, that, that distinctive that. lope. Or gait. I have that. Yeah. I, I have perfected that, that <laughs> walk. Yes. Yes. It was very bright. This is the same dunes that you came charging down with before. It is. Yeah. Here we, we must have liked that place. Here we are back again. I'm digging in. Mm. That's Beth Ann up there at the top. Yeah. And on the other side of the dunes, once you climb the dunes, that's the vista. Uh. The Silver Lake. That is scenic. That goes right down to the water. There's Dad. And then as the camera, once it pans the other direction, across the dunes continue, and then you, to the next little rise, is Lake Michigan. That Silver Lake. And then Lake Michigan over there. Remember the rides? Max Dune Rides, remember? You mean in dune buggies or something? Dune buggies. Oh, no. Yeah. You'd have to pay to go on that, wouldn't you? Yes, we never did. <laughs> the first time I went back as an adult, that's the first thing I did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ride. There's... I'm going to pay for a ride. Our mother, exhausted. Yeah. Down on the other side of the lake, looking at the dunes. And then the other side of the dunes would be Lake Michigan. Mm-hmm. Where are we now? I think Higgins Lake. Oh. Although there is a... Is that a, a lighthouse? Lighthouse. So why would you have a lighthouse on an inland lake? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Would this be Silver Lake? Well, then? it's too late because we've moved. Oh yeah. Now <laughs> the trees have changed. Oh <laughs> <Yes>. my. <laughs> we were there as a long May group. Yeah. So Yeah. In the Phoenix. Higgins Lake. 
Oh, this is Higgins Lake. I believe this is Higgins Lake. Unsafe for swimming. This is kind of like yeah. a joke movie. Notice right? you are now in the bathing suit. <laughs> I, I am. Oh, you are. I got the you have suit. now got oh. my, the blue bathing suit. Uh. <laughs> so this then is Higgins Lake. I believe so. Remember, it had those, we could never figure out what those posts were in the water. We thought maybe at one time there had been a dock there. Perhaps. But don't think too long because now we're at Christmas. Yes. Again. Again, another, another <laughs> Christmas. Another hall. Mm -hmm. Bigger than ever, it looks like. Yeah. I think we're coming back to more of that. I believe so. Yeah. We have what? grown. Yes. We are getting big. I've got my Tom McCann shoes. Oh, man. With tassels. I'm wearing my <laughs> high school ring there. Ooh. A couple shots I thought, I never wore a ring. Oh, I wore that ring. Of course, the camera goes to our sister, so you yeah, know, right. we don't so care about who, your ring. Who really cares? Yeah, so it, and here's there's Tim back there in the chair. Right. Nan, Ma, Nan. Beth Ann, and, and our new little sister, the blonde... Uh, doll yeah and douglas clowning with a bottle of syrup or something he's pretending to be alcohol. and you want it and i i'm trying to get it for you see because oh. you are wanting it yeah i'm a good brother i i think mother and auntie maggie got watches this year what do you it, think it looks like <laughs> yeah i think i think they may have gotten watches yes Mother suggested we put our arms up. Did you catch that? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, I, yeah, and so we did. And, and that's our, cute. Our grandfather, let's see, sixty-seven. Pa. He would have been sixty-six years old there. And Jim, Your cousin Jim. Now you're all uh, <laughs> taking a snort there. <laughs> I think that's my foot with the, with the tassels. Oh, yeah. Look, like Tim's asleep in the... Oh, no, he's awake. <laughs> he's just bored. <laughs> and there is the big snow. The big snow of this year. It's big. Yes. It was very difficult to shovel a gravel driveway. Yeah. Our model A's. Pontiac's in the garage. This would be the day after or the next day after the big snow. Was this the year? The, maybe it was because this is when we were snowed in. I think we were snowed in for uh, two days, if I remember. We couldn't go anywhere. Wow, this would be the year. And there's the back. Oh, look at this icicle. It goes all the way. Down I think to he's going to come back. He real, realizes, oh, yeah. there's an icicle there. Oh, wow. Yeah, the picnic table is put up on its side on purpose because yeah. it's winter. But look at that icicle. Amazing. <laughs> Jenny. Our cousin Jenny. Here we are in Claire, Michigan. With the McDonald's again. There's Uncle Chet and Auntie Roe and... Sally, our cousin, Uncle Don, Tracy, yeah. and the trailer. There's Jamie and Jenny, Sally, and Laddie. Tracy, and Laddie. There's our California trailer on the left, the little one. 
Oh, which Nana Man Postry. is staying in. Or no, uh, Roland Chet were staying in. Man oh. was in the green one. We were on our way to our trip out east. Mm -hmm. This was our first stop. Eastern trip. Claire to New York. So well, we're, we're still in Claire. We're still in Claire, but our father is having a toupee styled by uh, Auntie Vi. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's like, what is that piece of hair? Where did that come from? Anyway, he's so handsome. <laughs> and he's feeling frisky. Oh, oh my whoops, goodness. Whoop, whoop, too frisky there with your niece. <laughs> Trying to style it for him. Yeah. She's having a good time with it. I think she, <laughs> Andy Vi really cracked up in that yeah. little episode. This is Gettysburg. 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 So we got there July 6th. Ah. You'll see a lot of monuments. There are over 1,300 monuments at Gettysburg. Checking out that cannon, I suppose. Yep, you've you've your hair's grown. Yeah, they they've let me grow my hair. <laughs> and it's one of those monuments, what? right there. And we're out walking around in the wood, uh, the, the battlefields, right? It's, it's all yeah, that's Little Round Top. Oh, and that was the monument on top of Little Round Top. Hmm. The battlefield, I'm sure. It wasn't that green one after three days of a battle there. Yeah. Wow. We were there a couple of days, weren't we? And this uh, more more of the monuments. More monuments. There's one here my dad liked. It was a monument to the infantry. That's the one on the right. Oh, on the right. Yeah, and that one. Mm -hmm. And that one was a uh, Union soldier. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the to the infantry there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's the trailer with different trees around it. And mother. Yeah. And the Pontiac. We must have been just a couple nights because the canopy wasn't set up on the trailer. And mm -hmm. So not, this campground is... Are we is, coming or going? I don't know. I don't know. This campground is Gettysburg or maybe it the looks, next stop? It looks like probably Gettysburg. Because I believe the next stop, the next place of camp was in New Jersey, I believe. There we are. There outside we are. of New York. In the parking lot that they had set up for the World's Fair. Our father, yeah. interestingly, 30 years later, was in the same lot with his motorhome. Oh, yeah, of all the green campgrounds that you've seen us be in, here we are in a parking right. lot. It was a lot cheaper. I don't know. When I showed him this, he recognized the lot from the time when he was there in the 90s. Hmm. Here we are driving, I believe it's the uh, George Washington Bridge. Heading into town. Heading into. We drove in on Sunday. This would have been Sunday. Hmm. And that's it for New York.
here we are in, in some dunes in Cape Cod. Cape Cod. Or there are We climbed a lot of dunes, you like, know? Like dune dunes. climbing seemed yeah. to be what we did a lot of. I had of. sand in my shoes all year. <laughs> That's me in my cutoffs with Beth Ann helping mother out. That's probably Cape Cod. The actual cape going out the end there. Hmm. There we are in more dunes. Yeah. And here we are in Provincetown. Provincetown, Massachusetts. I understand it looks pretty much the same 50 years later. Hmm. Narrow roads. Yeah. Lots of people. Lots of trash on the street, too. These tourists. Wow. I didn't know. Yes. <laughs> these tourists, uh, well, be glad when they go home. <laughs> Give us our town back. And that's us. Walking in Provincetown. I believe we're at the base of the Pilgrim's Monument here. Oh. And there's the staircase that we were going to climb up the monument. Uh huh. And we made it. We're at the top of the monument now. Okay, so this looking is looking from... down on the streets that we were just on, looking down at Provincetown, Cape Cod. I think so that's looking back towards the mainland because Provincetown is right on the end of Ah Cape Cod. Now I'm sure it's all developed all the way. You think? It looked pretty developed then. <laughs> well, yeah. Possibly looking back towards uh Plymouth. And this, our dad climbed all that way. He was going to get footage. Oh, th this is from the other side or? Possibly. Okay. Yeah, he's still up in the tower. And one of the houses that we noticed from the tower, there it is. We walked past uh -huh. it. Evidently, mother wanted to get a closer look. And so she did. Right there. Yes. However, we're in different clothes. So maybe this was the uh -huh. second day we were there. Well, perhaps. Hmm. And now we are in some more trees and where? Are we in Plymouth? Maybe. Maybe. 
we're there. There's and our, you know, I, and we we we're, we're there for a few days because we've got the canopy up. But it occurs to me, why isn't he standing where the trailer is and shooting out so we can see where we are and what's around us? That's what I want to see. Oh, yes, we're at Plymouth. That's the National Monument to the Forefathers from 1889, formerly known as the Pilgrim Monument. And there it is, the Mayflower. The Mayflower. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's in the harbor at where? Plymouth. Mm -hmm. We must be on there somewhere. There's our mother and Beth Ann. Mm -hmm. A bit of coastline at low tide. I'm thinking this looks like Maine. This must be near where we camped because we come back to it later. It was probably interesting to us that people would be out walking where the water was just hours before. Yeah. We'd never seen water rise and fall like that. Our Michigan lakes didn't do that. <laughs> Bar Harbor. This is Bar Harbor. Ca yeah, Bar Harbor, Maine camping. Mm -hmm. We must be going to be there two or three days. Ah. Canopy's up. Yeah, the canopy. Yeah, that's that's a different kind of campground too. It's a lawn, but not yeah. the woods. Do you remember the big? The Airstream Club was there. That's the first time we saw so many Airstreams in one place. Oh. How come our trailer didn't shine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, Bar Harbor, Maine. Okay. There it is. Proof right there on the placard. Let's see. The, the park there is Acadia National Park. Ah. It's the park that we were camping in. Acadia National Park. It's a foggy day and you don't get a choice when you're on vacation. If it's a foggy day, you take the movies anyway. Yes. Unless you're in East Tawas and you just drive to Oscoda. Yeah. And do something else. They say the rocky coast of Maine, and there's proof. Yeah, it's rugged and beautiful. Yeah. Quite beautiful. Lobsters just crawling up yes. the rocks. Mm hmm When the tide goes out, you just walk down there and pick up the lobsters. It's, well, okay, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unlike the lobster our father brought back, remember? Oh, here's your lobster. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Plopped it on the table in the trailer and said, you want a lobster or here? <laughs> Plop! Right there in the middle. Claws and all. It was dead. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here's that same piece of coastline seen earlier at low tide. But here it is at high tide. Yeah, you don't see that in Michigan. Yeah. Maine. We think. We think that's Maine or somewhere between <laughs> <laughs> Massachusetts and Maine, somewhere up there. We went through New Haven, and you yeah, learned I, something in New Haven. I learned that college boys at Yale don't wear socks with their Ouijan. Well... That and was important. <laughs> yes, it was. I, I thought that was very important. You took that I bit tried, of news back I home? I tried it at home. I didn't get away with it, but... This is a covered bridge uh, where? In New Hampshire. We're coming across now from Maine, crossing New Hampshire. Headed for Niagara Falls, and then through Detroit and on home. I remember Detroit because it was on fire. <laughs> yep. 
And we just get on the other side of the bridge here, and I think we're going to end up in Vermont. There it is. Montpelier. Montpelier. Montpelier, Vermont. Capital. Green Hills of Vermont. Green Mountains. Sorry, Vermont. Vermontians. Mountains. Heading to, like you said, Niagara Falls. But in order to get there, we had to cross Lake Champlain. Oh, so this is where we ride a ferry. Yeah. Yeah, that's... After this beautiful eastern scenery. All green. Very different than the desert scenery of our... Yes. Of our trip a couple of years earlier. They love those road scenes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of road. A lot of road shot. Yes. Rock formations galore. There's the ferry. The ferry. Crossing what lake? Lake Champlain. Get into upstate New York. It looks like that's shot from the ferry. Lickety split. <laughs> right. <laughs> and some grand falls somewhere. Mm-hmm. Upstate New York, it would have been. And this, the Model A. Mm -hmm. This is the day we sold the Model A. And this is the last scene of all of these home movies. You know what I think? I think this is the moment our childhoods ended. Yeah. With everything going on in 1967, with our parents' increasingly strained relationship and the Detroit riots, Vietnam, and the draft hanging over mm -hmm. our heads for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah. There couldn't have been a worse time for that car, that perfect symbol of nonsense, <laughs> to be driven away from us forever. I think you and I both became collectors and fanciers of old things for life. At that moment in time, mm -hmm. in some sort of vain attempt to get that car to make a U-turn at Wadsworth and come back. <laughs>